Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got space weather, including the X-Class solar flare. We'll look at what we're watching in the days ahead, seeing a hurricane come together, looking at the galactic field of Andromeda, and more. But we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Flash will occur on the north, and that is the X-Class event. It was luckily impulsive with no signs of a CME release. You can see there are still several other items we need to monitor on the sun, but we're starting with a closer look at that flare. First, on GOES, it reached X 1.2. It's a small X-class event, and on top of the shorter duration, is not a threat to our planet. We'll see that flash and X-rays here in 131 angstroms from that same northern sunspot group we've had our eyes on for several days already. Flash occurred at the leading portion of the group, where the smaller umbral cores are interacting, as you see here in 171 angstroms. Looking at the sunspots, we still need to monitor this large group on the north. Wouldn't be surprising to see more flares there today. But we're also turning an eye towards what's coming over the limb. Certainly appears that there's a bit of complexity in a multi-umbral core group there as well. Along with this incoming sunspot, there are several plasma filaments in front of it that could erupt, and while the southern coronal hole steals a lot of the focus here, we have a trans-equatorial one coming next. See it creeping into view on the left side there, north of the incoming sunspot. We're off next to the tropics. Hurricane Eric is coming together and strengthening quickly south of Mexico. It is slated to continue northwest and make landfall on the coastline. Eyes open in this area, folks. Up next, we're looking at animation of the tracked objects in space. These are both active satellites and other objects. Full animations are at the link below, along with sub-productions like the Starlink Orbital Family and the tracking of more than 500 remaining pieces from a satellite collision years ago, still up there whirling around. Speaking of what's up there, out near Neptune, the largest Oort cloud comet ever has been scoped. Not only is it very cool that they were able to spot heavy molecules spraying from the comet, but this thing is 85 miles across, by far the biggest they have seen out there. Last but not least, folks, the galactic current sheet follows the magnetic field set up in a galaxy. We already know it exists here in the Milky Way and in several other galaxies as well. But today, they are coming back a step and confirming the spiral magnetism in Andromeda. This is linked with the equatorial plasma field, the interstellar magnetic fields of the galaxy threading the Parker spiral and current sheet. And if you recall the modeling NASA did of the Milky Way, you will recognize that pattern pretty immediately. The current sheets are everywhere. Remember to book your trip out to Observer Ranch this season. Our blacksmithing classes this weekend, prepper super event to end the month. We've got pole shift conferences, special events, and much more. And don't forget, we have also announced the experience in October. It's a special event with a separate link below, only 20 spots available. It's the most in-depth, one-of-a-kind unique, critical personal aspect prepping available on Earth. I've handpicked our team leader for the event, and our goal is to make sure yourself is ready for what's coming. All the events and registration links to book your stay are at ObserverRanch.com, and we greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.